Greetings, mystics and YouTubers. Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from Miss Melinda's MetaphysicalServices.com and MissMelinda.com, here to bring you our new moon reading for the new moon in Capricorn happening at 4.17 a.m. United States Central Standard Time on Friday, December 23rd. So here we are in December 2022 nearing the end of another year and nearing our last new moon of the year, our new moon in Capricorn. To begin this reading, we are going to look at three cards pertaining to the dark phase of the moon. Now, please note that the dark phase of the moon denotes the time when in astronomy the moon is actually new. So the moon is dark or not visible in the sky for about three days, but this time does vary. That is the time when astronomy calls the moon phase new, and it is the time that I call the dark phase of the moon and the time that um, many with similar practices and paths call the dark phase of the moon. So I'm pulling three cards to talk about the dark phase of the moon. The first card is the Emperor card. The second card, which is falling out of the deck, is the Two of Pentacles. And let's see what the third card is going to be. For these first three cards, I'm pulling from the Morgan Greer deck. So these cards are not only in regard to the dark phase of the moon, but also the dark phase within us. So what do I mean by that? I mean the phase in which we are naturally led to our own personal underworld, our own personal unconscious material or repressed material, our own dream world, our own connection with the spirit world, connection with the underworld, connection with our guides, with the invisibles, and with divination. All of these things are associated with dark phases. So here is the hanged man for our third card pertaining to the dark phase of the moon for our Capricorn new moon. So we have the emperor, the two of pentacles and the hanged man. So what I'm seeing here is that during this time, daddy issues can come up. <laughs> issues pertaining to our fathers can come up. So we don't have to take this literally. We don't have to take this personally. This could also be issues related to patriarchy, issues related to father figures or fatherhood in general, issues related to the men in your life. So you could have um, some things come up regarding your specific relationship with your father, or this could be about a partner or a husband or a significant other. It could also be about the masculine side of yourself. It could also be about your relationship to authority figures or your relationship to um, the patriarchy, right? Patriarchal figures. We have to take into consideration, and I talk about this when I talk about shadow work in conjunction with the Emperor card specifically. We need to take into consideration that um, a patriarch, a patriarchal figure, was not always necessarily a negative thing. There can be in existence and have been in, in history and in the past um, patriarchs, patriarchal figures, in other words, a caretaking father figure who is a positive influence in our lives, who is nurturing, who cares for us, who protects us, who teaches us, who guides us and ushers us through life. So it might be pertinent to ask yourself, what is your relationship to that kind of figure? What is your relationship to the sacred male? What is your relationship to um, 
fatherhood? What is your relationship to the positive aspects of a nurturing father figure? This is a good time to think about that because I'm seeing the two of pentacles and the hanged man. So we're looking at balance. We're looking at a balancing act and we're looking at something in this relationship that may be stuck or stagnant. Okay, so we may be feeling like we're not progressing in some area within ourselves or some area within our lives and it's going to lead back to this fatherhood archetype this fatherhood story and how it relates to us um, now when we're talking about the dark phase we're talking about things bubbling up from underneath within ourselves so we may not be conscious of what is happening we might be rather just experiencing surface level symptoms so if you start to feel yourself stuck if you start to feel yourself unbalanced if you start to feel yourself uh, difficult to be centered, difficult to be present. And especially if there's an area of your life where you're just feeling, feeling like you can't seem to move forward, you can't seem to um, get things done, it might be because of the issues that we're talking about here regarding patriarch, fatherhood, so forth. So this is a really good time to do your shadow work um, concerning your father or your relationship to fatherhood. This is a good time to ask yourself questions like, what does fatherhood mean to me? What does a father mean to me? What does a relationship with a man mean to me? What does the concept of men or the concept of manhood or masculinity mean to me? Or ask yourself, uh, what is going on with my inner masculinity? What is going on with the masculine side of myself? Is there something there that needs to be accessed? Is there something there that needs more expression? Is there something there that I need to heal? The, this kind of shadow work, these kinds of questions, even a little bit of contemplation, even a little bit of journaling around uh, these concepts will be beneficial to you during the dark phase of this Capricorn moon. Readings are sponsored by Mystic Members via Patreon. Mystic Members receive new moon readings early. They receive these readings a week in advance. If you're interested in becoming a Mystic Member and sponsoring these new moon readings, click the link below. Three cards that I'm pulling are in regard to the transitional phase. So the time when the moon is coming out of darkness and becoming, it's becoming, transforming into, transitioning into that beautiful sliver that we know in the sky as the new moon. For this phase, I am using the Gift of Life Tarot. So these cards are going to be about transforming, transmutating, transitioning. And these cards are going to give us guidance about how we can best traverse this energy. In other words, how we can move our shadow material or move out of our dark phase, in the dark phase of the moon, through to the illumination to the illuminated moon in the sky and the illumination within ourselves, the illumination within our lives. And the cards that I have here are the sun of fire, the eight of water, and the temperance card. I've been working a lot with the temperance card, especially during Sagittarius season. And this um, temperance card very much relates to Sagittarius energy. And it's about, all about healing and balance. So I'm kind of jumping to the end of these three cards here, but it's pertinent because it's such a positive sign for us to be able to bring further integration within ourselves. In this case, it means further integration of this father material, whatever that may be for us individually, and to heal it and to integrate it within us to come out more whole. Okay. So the sun of fire, of course, we're looking at fire here. I just want to show this one more time. It's such a nice card, really captures this beautiful fiery energy. Fire is always about taking action and transmuting energy. It's about an al alchemical process. It's about burning up 
um, the past and moving forward into the new. So what I'm getting from this right away is that we need to discern or um, decide what we can let go of, what we can get rid of so that we do have space for the new moving forward. This is going to really help with this process. Um, the process of healing that I'm seeing coming through during the new moon. The eight of water, water is all about healing. When we see somebody in a boat, it's healing waters. It's a movement towards calmer, more tranquil times. It's um, they're very much making moves in the right direction and uh, inviting not necessarily even inviting more healing and more calm and more um, centeredness into our life, but actively moving in that direction. So thinking about and taking the steps that you need in order to cultivate better energies, um, better, right? Um, better energies, by that I mean the energies that you most need right now. And it looks like this is going to be a great moon for healing. So thinking about what moves you can make, what steps you can take that are going to be actively bringing more healing energies into your life or creating a more conducive environment for that healing. So some action is going to be needed. I know this from the fire and I know this from the aid of water. Um, fire is always about taking action. There's a lot of energy here, um, obviously that energy can easily become volatile. It can easily become dangerous. It can easily become um, out of control, right? We never leave a fire unattended. Um, and it's nice that there's some water here because that does offer us some balance. And we did see the two of pentacles in the beginning. So we are seeing lots of beautiful signs for balance, including this temperance card. So I'm not too concerned about the fiery energy becoming... Um, out of control, but I would still say it's a good time to think about your grounding. And we see the temperance card, um, very earthy energy. So again, uh, another indication that we may want to be thinking about our grounding during this time. So we're seeing what actions can we take in order to further our healing, in order to create a more conducive life or conducive space for this healing process? What can we let go of to make room for the things that we are welcoming in? Really excellent thing to be thinking of for the new year. What do you want to let go of and what do you want to make room for? Don't forget to let go of things. And then we're looking at um, beautiful integration, beautiful healing. And so, great that transitional phase between the dark phase and the new moon is going to be a good time to take action and really um, jumpstart and uh, a healing process regarding the father archetype moving on to our last three cards these cards are all about the illumination phase the new moon phase when the moon is beautiful and illuminated and that gorgeous sliver of moon in the sky that we have come to recognize as the new moon so this is also talking about um, what becomes illuminated in our lives. When we go through the process that we have discussed here, when we take the steps that are discussed here, what is going to become illuminated within ourselves and within our lives? In other words, what are the results of the actions that we take? So I'm pulling three cards from the Ghetto Tarot. So <laughs> we have a little bit of a repeat of things. We have the three of pentacles here. We have the hierophant card, which definitely bears some similarities to the emperor. And we have the hanged man, second time seeing the hanged man today. So we'll go into that in a little bit more detail. Coming right in, the three of pentacles shows us coming out of this moon phase 
more ready to take action and integrate with the people around us. So not just integration within ourselves, but actually um, becoming closer in our community. Now, this isn't a larger community. This is a tight-knit community. And it's not simply about coming closer to them in general. It's about being able to lean on them. So one of the indications here is that it's a good time to ask for help from others. Now we've talked a lot about father figures. Maybe a good time to ask for some help from your father. If you are struggling in that relationship, this would be a beneficial time to actually discuss that in an open and honest and vulnerable way, if possible, and if safe for you, if it feels right. So that is one possibility. Another possibility is therapy. Another possibility is spiritual guidance of some sort. But the overall indication is that this illuminated phase is going to allow you to be more comfortable and more cognizant of the fact that you need to and want to um, go to others for support in this matter. Now, you will already have been processing a lot of this on your own if you are going through these steps and, and things that we have discussed here. You'll already have been processing some of this on your own, so you'll know, you'll have a good idea of what direction you want to take, um, how what you want your outcome to be, and sort of what your goal or intention is. The Hierophant card is a teacher. And the indication here is that we are able to gain guidance, um, significant guidance for our lives from an unlikely teacher. So we need to be open-minded coming out of this new moon. Um, we may have the opportunity to receive knowledge, receive teachings, receive guidance from unexpected sources. Okay, that teacher doesn't necessarily have to be a person or an individual. It can be an unexpected source such as the father archetype or the patriarch archetype within you or the divine masculine within you. There can be some unlikely and valuable guidance there. It could be an unlikely um, source such as um, a new type of learning, a new um, area of learning, a new spiritual practice, a new vein of knowledge. These kinds of things are highly likely. So it's going to be a good time for learning and a good time to stay open-minded and a good time to tackle things from a new perspective keep an open mind about these new perspectives, the likelihood that a new sort of school of thought, new to you, right? New to you school of thought may be appearing in your life during this time is very high. So watch for information that pops up that you're not searching for, you haven't made this happen. Things that pop up in your life that point you towards a new way of thinking, new schools of thought and be open-minded to it and the indication is you know you can take what works for you and leave what doesn't um, just because a school of thought offers you something that is especially helpful especially beneficial for you at the time doesn't mean that you have to adapt or adopt all of the teachings or all of the beliefs or all of the practices wholeheartedly you have free will, you can pick and choose. You, you don't have to adopt the whole philosophy, but look for those pieces of information that are helpful for you that you need now because it will be coming from an unlikely source. The Hanged Man is the last card. And again, it's our second time seeing the Hanged Man. So it's a reinforcer that we definitely need to be thinking differently than we usually do. This is an invitation to turn things on their head. And usually the indication is that things will continue to feel kind of stuck, kind of stagnant, kind of tacky and uncomfortable for us until we can see things from a new perspective, until we can see um, things differently. 
much differently than we usually do. So a fun exercise to do in order to get you into this mindset and get you out of stuck feelings is to actively imagine what it would be like if you were someone opposite from yourself. How would you feel? What what would you be thinking? Just toy with those ideas. Um, How would I feel if I were somebody much different from myself or somebody in a much different lifestyle or much different circumstances? How would I approach this? How would I feel? Um, What might I be thinking? What might be my approach or my perceptions be? This is especially useful if you are in some kind of standoff or standstill with somebody in your life, with a relationship in your life, such as with your father, such as with a partner. Try to actively see things from their perspective. It doesn't mean that you have to come out completely agreeing with them. It doesn't mean that you have to change um, how you perceive things or what you feel or how you believe or what your opinions are. You don't have to, but practicing understanding their perspective is going to be incredibly beneficial for getting you out of this standstill. And again, with the hanged man, the indication is Things won't change until you see things differently. So practice seeing things differently because this is a great moon for healing relationships that have to do with the masculine and the divine masculine relationships with our fathers. And it's a great moon to figure out new ways of learning and to be open-minded to new perceptions and new schools of thought. And we can really stand to learn a lot during this new moon if we can be open to these concepts and consider this guidance. Much love, many blessings.